Hello my fellow miner, today we're going to have a look at Gminer version 2.74. First up is the changelog. They have a contest going on where you have a chance of winning some ethereum uh, if you use their miner. And that is for version 2.74 and 2.73. If you're going to use Gminer anyway, you may as well enter the contest and have a chance of winning some Ethereum. However, if you're not going to use Gminer normally, then I would not recommend that you switch over just to enter the contest, unless that the hash rate and power level and power consumption and efficiency and stability is on pair with your expectations. These types of contests are created to draw more people in, which I think is quite fine. Just make sure you don't have anything to actually lose on it. The next two changes are improved stability for LHR mining and improved LHR auto-tuning. We will be talking about both in the conclusion. And then we have three boring changes that are almost completely irrelevant with the exception of TFAN. But I don't uh, recommend you use TFAN, I recommend you use fixed and then set it at 80%. I apologize if I sound a bit stuffed, but uh, my son made sure I got the flu by coughing me in the ear, which didn't work, so he coughed me directly in the mouth the whole night, and apparently he succeeded in his mission. He's even so sweet to wake me up 3 o'clock in the night just to tell me that he just coughed me in the face, to then cough me in the face while I'm awake. Ah, the joy of kids. I highly recommend them, just don't buy them from scalpers. We will be testing the latest Gminer version on all desktop LHR cards, which are the following. The RTX 3060 LHR version 2, the RTX 3060 Ti LHR, the RTX 3070 LHR, the RTX 3070 Ti LHR, the RTX 3080 LHR, the RTX 3080 Ti. Please note that my RTX 3060 Ti is with Hynix RAM, however, it has three fans and military created two balls of steel in each. Most likely designed by Duke Nukem himself. I think I said RTX 3070 Ti LHR, but all RTX 3070 Ti's are LHR by default, and there's none that are not. Anyway, let's have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR or clock settings for Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1552 and set the memory to 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. You can either modify your existing batch file or create a new one based on what is here in Windows. I highly recommend that you set your fan speed to be at least 80. And I also highly recommend that you use the optional settings, I will cover why in the conclusion. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR. I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory clock to 2100. In Windows that is 1050. If your graphic card has Samsung memory, you may be able to do 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. Um, if your graphic card is a Hynix memory card but only with two fans, you may be stuck at around 1600 in HiveOS, which is 800 in Windows. If your card has Hynix memory and three fans with two balls of steel in each, which gives a total of six balls of steel, then you may be able to actually run at the exact same clock as me when it comes to the memory clock, of course. Yeah, so many different options here. It's good that I don't have to mention the RGB. As everyone knows, more RGB gives better hash rate. Let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock at 11.25 and set the memory clock to 2600, which gives 1300 in Windows. If you are a Windows user, you can either modify your existing Gminer batch file with the settings you see here, or create a new one based on the settings you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 930 and set the memory clock to 2300, which is 1150 in Windows. If you are a Windows user, you can either modify your existing Gminer batch file, or create a new one based upon what you see here. When you look at the mining result, you also see that the uptime is not that long, but uh, I actually tested it for 11 hours and more. Um, I will again cover that in the conclusion. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory clock to 3400, which is 1700 in Windows. 
Again, if you're using Windows, you can either create a new batch file based upon what you see here or modify your existing batch file. If you are a Hive OS user, I highly recommend that you create a dual boot system so you can boot up in Windows and see temps on your memory. Anyway, let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock at 1200 and set the memory clock at 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. If you have watched my videos before, you will notice that the core clock here has changed from 1500 to 1200. And the reason why I'm able to do that is because I have updated my BIOS with an EVGA BIOS that fixes uh, some power limits. Before I was running on the Inno 3D standard BIOS, but I just flashed it over with the EVGA. I'll uh, throw a link in the description and also a card here. The same fix applies for everyone who's stuck at 77 mega hash per second or uh, can't hit over 90 in T-Rex. If you're a Windows user, you can either modify your existing Gminer batch file or create a new one based upon what you see here. Now let's move on and have a look at the average results. First up is the RTX 3060 LHR. 36.3 MHz per second at 103 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.352. That makes it the most efficient miner of the three tested here, uh, which is also kind of the trademark of Gminer. Now let's move on and have a look at the average result for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR rocking Hynix RAM. 43.6 MHz per second at 122 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.357. Let's move on and have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 LHR. 45.8 MHz per second at 111 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.413. Not bad, the RTX 3070 is just a lovely car. Now let's move on and look at its ugly little brother, or is it its big brother in this case, the RTX 3070 Ti. To be honest, they are equally ugly with all these RGBs, but they are very nice for Christmas. When you have a whole bunch of them together, it looks like a crazy Christmas tree, being attacked by gremlins. Anyway, uh, 58.5 MHz per second at 178 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.329. And if you don't know what Gremlins is, then you should definitely watch it. It's one of the best uh, Christmas movies ever made. It really has that Christmas vibe and spirit. Until the Gremlins run amok and try to kill everyone, of course. Which is pretty much comparable to walking into whichever shopping mall right now. Let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 LHR. 77.3 MHz per second at 244 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.317. Talking about the, the Christmas sales at the malls right now, people are going completely crazy. The last time I saw this was the first lockdown we had here in Penguin Land, where people would buy something like 20 packages of yeast or a, like a shopping cart mountain of toilet paper. I really want to look into the mind of that guy, it's like, I need a shopping cart and I need to build a mountain of toilet paper upon it because now we're going into Corona lockdown and I just want to wipe my ass. <laughs> that is pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive that anyone would buy that much toilet paper. The general rule is to have uh, food for three weeks, not toilet paper for a year. Anyway, let's move on and have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 Ti. 89.5 MHz per second at 263 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.340. Now, if we look at all these results, they look quite nice. However, that is actually not the case, because if you want these results, it also requires that you can run at a stable LHR value, which is completely impossible. The latest version of Gminer seems to have some problem when it comes to LHR values. No matter what I set it at, it will at some point lock. I've tried to let it auto-tune, but even after 11 hours, I still get locks. Fixing the LHR value at 73.5 still results in locks. Just to be completely sure, I tried with two different drivers in HiveOS, the 470.83 and the 470.82 plus Windows 10. But it never actually seems to stabilize, which is very sad considering how efficient it is. Now let's have a look at an example of that auto-tuning. 
Note the uptime, 11 hours and 16 minutes. Note the LHR uh, settings for the 3060 Ti and 3070. They are both at 73.5 and this is auto tuning, so this is what it has set it at after 11 hours. Let's jump forward a bit so you can see how funky the auto tuning is. Here we are fast forward 22 minutes and we see that the LHR value is now 74.5, which is super nice actually. Oh, but what is that? So it just bumped up the RTX 3070 Ti's LHR value to 74.5 just to get locked. Now this will continue until it hits 73.5 eventually and then it will go up again. In other words, I don't really feel that also tuning is working. To me it doesn't look like the changes they have made to LHR tuning and LHR auto tuning is worth anything. And this actually suspiciously looks like the whole reason that I stopped using uh, 2.73 because I experienced the same after a couple of days and I just couldn't get a stable LHR value. I also find it extremely weird that when you make a change to something you don't write what the change is. So you write that you have changed the auto tuning, that is fine, but what have you changed? You also write that you have changed the LHR tuning. That is fine again, but what have you changed? What can we expect? It Will it be faster at also tuning more stable? Um, to me, I actually don't see any difference here at all. It's a bit sad that it actually doesn't work, at least for me. Maybe you're more lucky, I can't rule that out. Um, because I really like G minor and the efficiency of G minor is awesome. And I would definitely be using it more on my LHR rigs if the LHR tuning was stable. I highly recommend that you use the optional settings for maximum stability if you are going to use this version. Now is a good time to subscribe if you are not a subscriber and click like on the video if you like it. Both really help me out a lot. I hope to see you in the T-Rex minor test video. Have a nice one.